y'all this is Dina welcome to my channel y'all I actually got in my craft room tonight feeling a little bit better today feeling um, like I have a little energy today um, it's been great feeling alive <laughs> um, but anyway I came in because I wanted to make a little card for me to put in my dad's casket when we have his funeral this week so this paper right here i had thought about it and miss becky had from funny hollow crafts had sent me this paper and i hadn't used it yet so i thought you know what this would be a perfect time for me to use this and just make a simple card um i use the scallop cards i get them um from michael's i've had them in my stash and i just layered up a lot so on the front as you can see i layered i added some decorative paper out of this collection let's see i believe it was this one but in larger form let's see if I can show you that isn't it gorgeous i just cut where the yellow was and just used the sky and then this amazing grace how sweet the sound actually there's a sticker sheet in here and that's where i got that one from right here and I just layered it up on some white and blue. I added the ribbon so I could just tie it closed. On the back, I just put this beautiful blue and uh, be still and know that I'm God. I just thought that was just beautiful. Um, inside, I just put, um, this is like one scene and I cut it. And um, yeah, I just love it. We haven't forgotten our faith. God's been with us all along. My dad is with Jesus Christ. It was only a no-brainer to use that. And then over here, I just layered up some paper because I'm going to write the note on here to my dad. And then I'll just tie a bow and tie it closed. And it will go with dad. Just something simple. Um, I don't really know if I have the energy to do big projects yet. But yeah, just a simple little card um, is what I came in here to do. And so yeah. But anyway, this paper is Devoted Faith, and I believe Miss Becky um, from Bunny Hollow Crafts, I think she got on Amazon. So if you're interested. Um, but anyway, little update on me. Um, I am feeling a little bit better, and I'm grateful. I'm just so grateful. Um, it's been a really tough time. COVID is horrible. I don't wish this on anyone. I won't be going out a whole lot in the future until COVID starts getting better and more people are vaccinated and everything because I don't want to go through this again. So um, I do know that God is what God is who's brought me through. Tomorrow is my day 14. So I've made it my 14 days. And um, so now I'm just going to little by little start getting myself going. You know, I just got to get going. And um, I think right now, mainly, I just have a little bit of a sniffle, but I'm just mainly tired. And so I know that that's going to take time to get better. Um, so, yeah. Um, anyway, that's a little bit update on me. So praise God that I'm feeling a little bit better. I will start getting my spunk back soon. I know it. And, um and um, this week is going to be hard because of my dad's funeral is on Wednesday. And the viewing for my dad is on Tuesday. So anyway, so this week we'll lay my dad to rest and try to have a little bit of closure. And I'm ready to see him. I haven't seen him since the day he passed and I saw him through the window. So I'm ready to see him looking beautiful and handsome. I'm going to miss him a lot. He was really my best friend. He was the best dad anybody could ask for. He, number one, treat, teached us all or taught us all about Jesus Christ and let us know that it was important to have Jesus in our heart and to follow Christ. And for that, I'm always grateful to him and my mom. We were brought up in a very Christian household and when I'm you know, and I have to say, my dad's sister called me the other day and said, when my dad was young, she said, he was mean. And I'm like, um, when my dad was 30 years old, barely 30, my dad accepted Jesus Christ in his heart. And 
from then on, I never witnessed him being mean. He was always sweet. He was always one of my very best friends. So, anyway, I'm not going to ramble on. I hope that everyone is doing great. Thank you so much for your sweet words. Oh my goodness, the video I put of my dad the other day. Y'all, thank you. There was probably more than, there's more than 700 comments the last time I looked. I can't possibly answer all of them. But just know I was reading through them and thank you so very much for your for your support and your sweet words. If anybody's watched my videos in the past, you know how much my dad means to me. So anyway, thank you so much for all of that. And thanks for just caring about me. Appreciate it. So anyway, this is something I never want to go through again. As far as COVID, I don't want to go through this ever again in my life. <laughs> so anyway, but I'm thanking God that he's brought me through. And my brother as well is starting to feel better. So we are good. We're getting better. So praise God for that. Anyway, I'm not going to ramble on anymore. Um, I will talk to you guys very soon. Hopefully I'll get in my craft room tomorrow. And just try to maybe just start creating. Just to kind of keep my mind off things. Um, so yeah. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great night. And I love you guys. Bye.